Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda from Crafty Fit and today we are going to do another page kit and I'm actually pulling two pink paisley um, pages or um, new paper pads that I have. I've been dying to play with these so I kind of want to just put some page kits together and put them in my stash so then that way I can play with them um, when it comes time to making some more page, um, putting some more page kits together for embellishments. So this one is the Pick Me Up and this one is the Fifth in Monaco. I got this from Hobby Lobby, super inexpensive. So let's go ahead and do Pick Me Up first and we'll pick out some page kits. And I think maybe I'll do like two from each just so that way I have a little bit of something. And I'm just kind of looking through and seeing which ones I want to play with. And just kind of looking at them. So with this one, let's see. Hmm. I really like this, this page right here as a background page. So we will take this ombre one and take that one. I'm just going to take off the edge. And then we are going to try to find something that looks good with this. I mean, all of it necessarily will look good with it, but I really like that. That's kind of cool. It brings in a little bit of lighter colors. Hmm. I might be going back to that one. It's very, very different. I love it. Okay. Hmm. And it changes. I didn't realize it because I don't think I have that one. Okay, so we're going to do this one with that. I like that. And then I think I'm going to bring in some of this yellow or the blue. I think that would be a lot of fun. Let me make a page kit out of that. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Actually, I think what I might do is I might try to bring in some scraps as well. Oh, I like that. Hmm, let's see. Let's see what we have bring in the plus signs. I think there might be two of those actually. So that could work. Let's see. Is there two of, yep, there is. Okay. So we're going to go with the dark blue. That looks like a fun paper pot, paper um, combo. What do you guys think? I think that looks really, really good. So I'm going to leave that like that. And I think what I might do is I might try to bring in, let's see, let's see if we can try to bring in some yellow in the scrap bin. So for my scraps, I have this huge bin right here and I'm just going to sit it on my lap and just kind of flip through it and see where I have some, well, this might not be a good idea because I have a lot of scraps. Oh my. Okay. Let's see. So dokie. I'm going to just look off, off camera. Or, yeah, I'm going to look off camera and see if I can find something that looks good with this.
We don't have a whole lot of yellow. I do have this yellow, which does not match that yellow at all. Hmm. Ooh, okay. So we have this yellow right here that we can add in. So that'll look good. And we'll just we'll just add that one in there. Okay. Let's put this yellow back. If I can find out where my yellow starts. There we go. Okay. So that is one page kit. We're gonna try to get another one done with this collection. So let's see. Let's try to use some scraps. I was thinking about maybe fussy cutting some of those out. Hmm, I really like this. I like this as a background page. So we'll start with this as a background page. Nice little ledger. And then let's see what we can add in to this page. I do love this. I do love that a lot. Hmm. Maybe this pretty floral and some butterflies. Oh, that would be perfect. I think that would be just the most perfect one and then we have two of them so that would be perfect to have two of them let's see so we'll have that the butterflies or the the flowers and then maybe i don't know if we should bring in the butterflies that might be a little bit too much like i kind of want to fussy cut them out Let's do that. Let's fussy cut those out. And then we're gonna look for a red. We're gonna look for this type of red right here. So we can try to get some red in there. So let's look through our scrap bin at the reds. And I'm just gonna pull out the whole thing. I kind of just want to see that's like the perfect color but this is a Christmas paper I don't know would you be able to tell <laughs> oh, I kind of like that one too hmm red is tough <clears throat> Hmm, let's see. Gingham. Oh, this one matches. Oh, that would be really cute. So this is from Echo Park Beautiful Life. I really, really like that one. So we will add that, add that to it. Even this is really pretty. I think that's from like the same collection. Maybe, possibly, let's see. Let's see which one we like with it. I do like both of them. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with this one, guys, just because, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna leave it up to when I wanna do this layout. I'm gonna put both of them in there because that way they both can stay and we can figure it out when we pull the layout out and have some fun. So we have both of them in there and I'm just gonna take these strips off. They have the hole in them. And then we will see what we want to do with the other page kits. So let's see 
Let's pull the next paper pad. And so this is the Fifth in Monaco. I have nothing from both of these collections. So this is going to be just one that I, a kit that I kind of put together. So I'm going to flip through and just kind of get a little familiar with what I'm working with. Ooh, I always see those and I'm thinking those would be really cute to be fussy cut. <laughs> I feel like I always have the, like I always want to fussy cut and then I never, I never do as much Oof, like that huge flower. I could fussy cut that too. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see what we have. We have a lot going on on this paper pad. It's a different vibe, I feel. And I think I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull the black and white stripes. I really like those. And let's see what else we can pull with that. Those flowers would look so pretty on those. Like just fussy cut. Oh my, so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna use the birds. Hmm. Let's see, we don't want any, don't want any lines just because we already have so much. So I think I'm going to go with this. And I think my plan is to bring in some of this hunter green. So let's see what are we have in our green category of scraps. So we have a lot of green. I just don't know if we have that type of hunter green. Hmm. Well, that's kind of like lime green, lime green. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, I kind of like that one. I know, I have a lot of scraps. That This is my plan to use these scraps <laughs> and to kind of see what I have in my scrap bin. Go to my scrap bin first before pulling more papers. All right, so we have a few options here. So I'm just gonna pull that and see what those look like. Let's see. So this is like a full sheet. That is almost too, meh. that does not look very good. Mm -mm -mm. That looks good. I like that one. This one, no. This one, no. I don't know. I think this one might be the only winner, guys. I mean, I do like this one too, but it's it's really a lighter, a lighter one, a lighter green. This is more of a darker green. This one looks, let's just see what this looks like. Sometimes you have to eyeball it. Okay. I think I could get use. I think I could could try that out. Let's see. Let's keep that. We'll keep that one. So what is that? That is one for Fifth and Monaco. I'm gonna do one more, and then I think we will call this done. I will put these into my scrap bin, and or my page kit bin. 
and we will go from there with using them. But at least like I got to play around with them and just kind of have some fun and not really create anything. So that is one thing that I do love about making page kits is that you don't necessarily have to create something right then and there. So I do love this wood green. Um, where is it? Right here. I do love that wood grain. It's super cute. Okay, so we'll do a wood grain as a background. And I think I might already have what I want on this one. Those polka dots, they're super cute too. Let's see, what do we have? I love that one. Oh, that's really cute. All right, so this one might be a little, a little bit tougher. I think what I might do hmm. I think I really really for some reason am like drawn to those butterflies like really drawn to them Hmm. That won't work. Like, for some reason, I love those butterflies and I love these two sheets together. I don't know why, but I just do. But I know they won't look good with that. I think, ooh, I kind of like that. That goes for like a tropical vibe kind of different. Um, let's see. Hmm, I really like that. That's different. Okay. And then maybe we can add in some pink. Like this big pink flower. I don't know. Hmm. We just like green and green and then add pink as like a separate color. What do you guys think about that? Oh, I like that. I don't know why, but I do. I really like that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to go with this. I know it's, it's different. It's definitely different. And I think I'm going to add some pink to it. I don't know. I just love it. I just hear me out. Like I just, I think I really like that a lot. All right. Let's see if we can find some pink. Yeah. In that scrap bin. Okay, let's see what we have here. Let's just play around with some pinks. Oh, it's a little bit too busy. Ooh, maybe some words. I do like that. Okay, no, no, no. I see. This one. That's really pretty. I really like that. I think we might have a winner. 
And I know some people probably are cringing because this is white and that's a cream base, but I have learned to just have some fun and just roll with it. All right, yeah, we're going with that scrap. Okay, so guys, that is it. We have four of them for these two paper pads. And this is something that I like to do when I get a new paper pad because I like to just have some fun and play with paper, not necessarily scrapbook. So yeah, these two are a great addition to my scrapbook pages. And so I'm going to put these in my page kits and I will be back hopefully with another um, either process video or a um, page kit video. So yeah, I'm super excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Um, make sure you hit the uh, like and subscribe and what else? Let me know of any questions that you guys have down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.